Hello guys, this is Takes T2K and uh, you're just wondering why is the dice and uh, you know, figures on table? Well, it's something I've got into a bit really. Uh, something called, yeah, you may have heard of it, but it's you know, coming a bit popular, it's called Dungeons and Dragons. You know, the game where, you know, little teenagers, nerds and all that lot go around dressed up into people's basements. And if someone does something wrong, table gets flipped over, milkshake gets thrown across the actual room and all that lot because someone ain't playing to the character right and all that lot. But that's just going to stereotyping and, you know, what people thought it was in the 80s. But, well, it says you got like, you know, D&D is, you know, coming back into, you know, coming back into fashion, if you want to call it that. Well, let's just say it's having an uprising. And, obviously, a load of people starting to, you know, pick it up again. And, you know, get more of an understanding for the actual, you know, Dungeons and Dragons. You know, franchise. Obviously, you know, for me, the only thing I got, you know, related to Dungeons Dragons first off was Euro Realms. And obviously, I seen, you know, someone I, you know, watch, you know, someone who I watch, you know, do streams. You know, someone who, you know, does stream who I watch, should I say. Uh, called Burning Oil Gaming. Go check him out on you know on Twitch, and also his YouTube channel as well. Cause uh, there's a you know you know I follow Firewatcher quite a bit, and you know one of them actually do, you know he's got a you know plays a big campaign in the you know one of you know his uh, story you know stories campaigns. Uh, yeah, whatever you want to call it. And, you know, it's, I literally, you know, took interest, you know, near enough straight away because uh, I kind of got, got the basics with, you know, the U realms and I could relate near enough to D&D &D the same. And a few weeks ago, because of the place where I am, decided to do like a, you know, gaming night, you know, known for computer games, but board games as well and they decided to you know do the you know D, D session which I sat in and watched and a few weeks later I dabbled in it and I really enjoy it so obviously you can see a few props if you remember a few me loot crates obviously you know the D20 stress ball. <laughs> yeah, you would just follow the and bow tie. But I see you get like, you know, these are figures I, you know, that I'm using at a minute till I get to get a few miniatures, which you don't have to do. If you play the game, you can just basically take an amiibo or whatever you want. And obviously, yeah, with D&D, which I watched on, you know, last Thursday. You don't have to be all fantasy or within the book. You can literally just basic, basically, you know, put on whatever, you know, fantasy you want. The one I saw was actually in the Aliens universe, and it was actually quite, you know, it was interesting, good, and well thought out. So, and I says, if you hit the right dice at the right time, Things do pan out. So, well, I say it is literally, you know, an easiest game, you know, to pick up. Obviously, you do get, like, you know, player handbooks and all that lot. Which will help you out, which, are, you know, kind of, you know, they are a bit pricey, to be honest. But, 
you can get a PDF online, you know, wherever you want to look at it. And for me saying I print, you know, this is a character sheet that I used during a campaign where I played as a uh, barbarian. And obviously it tells you all your stats like armor class, incentive, how fast you can move. Like all you know, your bonuses that you put on. So like you know, you roll you know, roll a dice, it's plus three to whatever is on your D twenty. Saving throws, your skill throws, perception. And also like your items and everything else. So and like I said that's helped me out quite a lot. And also yeah, we DMs or GMs, whatever you want to call them. Or whatever they want to be called. Don't think of them as the you know, nastiest people in the world just trying to kill you. It, you know, they've created a world where they want to try and get some balance into it. They might help you out in little ways, but they might hinder you in others if you be a dick to them. So you just got to be careful. But you know a good DM when you actually play it, you know, when you actually play them. But this I'm holding here is a D20. Basically, yeah, well, it's a 20-sided dice. Obviously, yeah, in the game, everything, yeah, for a D20, one's a critical fail, 20's a critical success. So, they're the odds for you. Last is they come in all different shapes and colours. Let's just bring these round here. Get in here. Yeah, buggy. And we'll start with the basic one that everyone knows. This is your, your standard D6, your six sided die. We'll go one step down. This is your D4. It's got one, two, three, four. Obviously, wherever it lands, that's the value of it. So if it lands like that, that's a two. Then you've got your D eight, which is your like ruby or gem, diamond shape. Obviously, whether it falls on side up. So if it lands on there, that's what the value it is. There you got your D tens, which come in different values. This is your standard D ten. Obviously, you know, like that one, whatever it lands on, that's what it goes with. There you got your D hundred, where it just basically goes up in tens, really. So there you got your D twelve. Yeah, you know, basically this is what's mainly used for the Barbarian class, mainly in D&D. But there's a few other classes that do use this. And, you know, unless you get your D20 I've just shown you. And speaking of classes, there, you know, it's not just basically, you just go into a character. Every, you know, there's quite a few classes within, you know, the game. And this is going straight off top of my head. Uh, well, this is you got your fighter class, you got your barbarian class, you got your cleric, you got your wizard. You've got your oh, what's it called? you got your bard, you got your rogue, you got your bard, the rogue. Oh, blooming hell. Monk. And you got your paladin. 
that warmonger. Yeah, it, yeah, like I says, yeah, there's quite a few new ones that yeah, that's coming to it now. And like I says, that's just basically yeah, coming straight off my head. Oh yeah, I don't think they're called arches, but obviously you got the ones that you like deal with distance and speed, you know, and you know, and adventure. So. And like I says, yeah, what DMs do is they create the world or they create one shots, you know, for you to go through and basically enjoy. You know, going, you know, go through whatever tasks they throw at you, any dragons you have to slay, and it does get times where yeah, he just bangs a dragon, you know, like for the last bit, and it's like, oh crap. So you don't, unless it's with D and D, it's mainly up to what you want to do. If you do, if you want to think, no, nope, I'm out. Get me out of this cave. I'm running. And you can just get out of the way of the dragon. That's what you can do. As long as you get the right rolls and the right lot. And if if the enemies ain't got a, you know silly amount of projectile. But yeah, like yeah, with D and D, I fully enjoy it. It's something I want to yeah, you know, well, I want to learn, yeah, you know, understand a bit more, and me you know do like a one shot campaign one day. Where I want to yeah, you know, yeah, you know, I want to do like a Pokemon one where I can you know kind of relate and. Make a easy one, you know, for me to actually go out and fulfil, you know, like a world. So, but yeah, like I says with D and D, it's your world, your know, world's your oyster, really. And obviously, you got like you know big channels out there that play it like you know Critical Role, where a lot of voice actors, you know, who love the game and basically put the voice to it. I know Yogg's cast have, you know, got, you know, you know, they got together, you know, quite a few players like D&D &D and decided to put on a show. And, you know, so on and so on, really. And there might be quite a few, you know, in the area that you might not know about. And obviously, there's a place in Nottingham that's kind of been like, you know, leading the charge towards it. It coming back, you know, like a you know, place for people to check it out and you know, get a bit of understanding behind it. So I anyway, well this has been you know I wouldn't say my guy but you know, my thoughts are D and D. But is it something you wanna you know you ever thought about picking up but you were uh, you know, thought it was you know, either for hipsters or you know kids or whatever yeah you know, whatever the bad you know bad thing behind it was that you know, that would put me off. I uh, says for me when I saw like you know U realms, and it was just basically like yeah you don't have to be all be serious it can be absolutely fun you know f well funny, joyful I know that a lot. Anyway, this has been Taxi2K. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.